Welcome to the very final uh, lesson of our big question and our topic on migration. Um, we've been looking at why do people migrate and uh, today's uh, lesson is going to be a shorter lesson um, and it's going to be one that gives you uh, a choice of tasks to choose from. So here are three tasks that you can choose from and uh, all I'd like you to do is choose one of the options uh, to demonstrate and wrap up with everything that you've learned from this migration unit. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the three options here, but then on the following slides, I'm going to talk about uh, each task in a little bit more specific detail. So if you'd like, uh, if you'd like that extra detail, then you can just kind of skip the video on to the task that you choose. So the three tasks are the first one is an exam question, uh, and it's uh, one that we've done lots of times in class. Uh, it's a how far do you agree question. Uh, so this question, the main reason people migrated to England was because of religious persecution. How far do you agree? And it says you may use the following in your answer. Uh, Huguenots or the Windrush generation. The second task is slightly different. Um, the second task is a bit more of a creative task. And uh, it's one where you've got to imagine that you've been asked to design a museum exhibit. Uh, so you need to pick at least kind of five events, five groups of people who have migrated to Britain and then it start to explain the role that they played in the migration story um, with two images or sources for each event as well. And the final one is a research task. So you need to uh, this one's maybe a bit more of a personal task. You look into your own family history um, and then create a small booklet or a pamphlet about it um, and I've given you some suggestions which I'll talk through more on the following slides. So maybe pause the video here, uh, decide which task you want to do and then uh, move to the section of uh, this video which explains that task in a little bit more detail. So for the essay question I'm just going to talk it through in a little bit more detail uh, and I've broken down the question a little bit or told you what you need to do in a bit more detail uh, with the writing in green on the screen. So the question is, the main reason people migrated to Britain was because of religious persecution. How far do you agree? You may use the following in your answer. And if you remember when we've done this uh, in class in school uh, before lockdown, you can see uh, that you get given two bullet points. And Huguenots is one example uh, of uh, something that would support the statement in quotation marks. Um, so Huguenots were religious. Uh, did migrate to Britain because of religious persecution um, and you could write a paragraph about them but then you're given uh, another bullet point about something that's not to do with religious migration so it challenges the statement and this example is the Windrush generation so it's saying actually uh, people from the Caribbean didn't move to Britain because of religious persecution they moved for other reasons um, and then you need to come up with one bullet point of your own. So that's why you've got the bullet point with the question mark there as well. To answer this well, the key is giving a balanced argument. Uh, so things that support the statement, um, and that could be your paragraph on the Huguenots or something else. You don't have to use the bullet points in the question. Uh, but you also need to say something on the other side of uh, uh, the argument so suggest it was for other reasons it wasn't only because of religious migration uh, that people moved to Britain so the two bullet points kind of get you started on this and then you need to add uh, one more paragraph uh, about something else on one side or the other so you could choose any of the things that I've put uh, in brackets so fertile land economic reasons poverty or jobs and your structure is you have a short introduction. So you're saying whether you completely agree with the statement, partially, somewhat, uh, completely disagree with it. Uh, and then you do your three paragraphs. So uh, agreeing with the statement, disagreeing with the statement, and then choosing one more paragraph either to agree or disagree, depending on what you think, and then wrapping it up with a conclusion. So well done for having a go at this task because this one is uh, probably the hardest. Um, and hopefully will be one uh, that challenges and stretches you. Now for this task, it's slightly more creative uh, and you're maybe putting together a museum exhibit. Uh, it could be a booklet. It could be a series of A4 pages. Um, however you want to lay it out is absolutely up to you. Uh, but the idea is that you've been asked to tell the story of migration to Britain. 
Uh, so you need to pick at least five different events, explain the role that each one played in the migration story. So that might be picking five different groups uh, of people that migrated to Britain. It might be uh, thinking about uh, one particular group and then picking a couple of things from them. Uh, I'd say you need at least three groups for this one. And then uh, for each of the events and the groups of people that you have chosen, you need to maybe use some images, which you could draw if you want to, or you can find them from the internet, uh, depending on whether you're using uh, a Word document or not, or a PowerPoint presentation. Um, and uh, I would also recommend that you use uh, some captions. So in a museum exhibit, uh, you might see little captions that have been uh, given to each of the pictures just to explain what role they had, what uh, link they had to the, the story that they're trying to tell. So I've given you some suggestions uh, with the pictures I've used. So you might remember that picture in the top right that we looked at last lesson last week, uh, which had lots of the headlines in British newspapers about um, uh, migration and immigration. A uh, picture of Britain, because that's obviously where we're uh, talking about the migration too and then a picture in the bottom right of the migration museum which is uh, in Lewisham so or is going to be opening in Lewisham uh, depending on lockdown so a few things to get you started there uh, but you can have a go at creating your own museum exhibit and get a little bit creative with this task uh, so your final option is to do uh, some migration research um, which is looking into your own family, maybe creating a booklet, a pamphlet. You could even do, uh, uh, as part of that, maybe a, a family tree um, and labelling it with the different uh, uh, places that maybe your family have come from, so migration um, that they've had in their family. Uh, and some suggestions are maybe you need to talk to your family, maybe you don't know uh, your own family history, that's fine. Interview some of your family members, uh, either in your household or maybe over FaceTime or Zoom if they uh, live further away. Um, and then think, why did your family migrate? Um, what were the reasons? Are, they, uh, are there any push and pull factors there, like the ones we've learned? Um, or is it, is it for different reasons to what we've looked at? How far can you trace your family history back? Um, and you can add some images, you can get a bit creative uh, with your booklet. Uh, I've put a couple of pictures on the screen uh, for my family history. So if you tuned into our uh, year eight live lesson last week, um, which obviously if you're in year seven, you wouldn't have, uh, but those year eights that did tune in, uh, you would have uh, hopefully remembered me saying uh, I'd found out a little bit about my family history by talking to some of my uh, uncles. And we think that uh, the Upton family, our Upton family anyway, uh, originally came from Scandinavia. Uh, so it was Viking originally, then traveled to the north of France uh, where we became Normans and then we uh, came over to England in the Norman conquest. Um, and obviously there's a lot more to it, but that's a little bit about my family history from the research I've been able to do. Uh, so have a go at this one, uh, do as much as you can and, and let's see who can uh, find the most interesting stories of migration in their family.